Alright, this is just a quick setup video without all of the blah 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 blah. So with the ZYXS2, what you want to first do is, uh, after you get it, got everything wired up, is going to the receiver type. Using a standard receiver, set it for a conventional. Which, okay. Anyway, it looks like I can use this to adjust my flight modes. And uh, then you want to go hit a monitor and you want to move all your sticks around and make sure that you got uh, first collective up and down. When you pull the elevator stick back, the elevator should go to this side that says pull. If not, you want to reverse that. You want your rudder to do the same thing when you're going left and right, and you want left and right on your aileron. You got all that straight, and you go next and you tell it which way you have your gyro mounted. After that, you choose your swash plate type. After that, then you go right here and you select your servo post ray. They have to be fit, well, one of these here that are in this option here, 1520 selection for a cyclic. And for your tail, you have a digital 1520 US, whatever your servo may be here. Uh, over here uh, also is um, where you can switch the direction of your cyclic servos. Um, here is where you switch the direction of your tail. Then you go here and you, um, right here is where you 90 your servos. And this is the 90 your tail servo, which uh, normally you want to have that zero. Use these. Uh, over here, the 90 each servo. Uh, number one should be one there, it says channel one. Channel two for channel two. And this is how your servo should be. Uh, you'll see it's channel one, two, and three. They should be wired up properly so that they work with each number correctly. And then we go to travel. And here is where you set your um, collective travel to make sure you have 12 degrees of positive pitch. Over here, you can adjust your uh, aileron and elevator uh, travel, so you have eight degrees of uh, aileron and elevator. Over here is where you set up your tail servo lengths. Hold your tail rudder stick to the left and adjust this slider until your tail is in binary. And that's it. It's that simple. We won't, we won't get into advance. Uh, and any agility and uh, gain, you want to set your gain to 30. Uh, the ZYX gyros don't like anything above 30. Uh, 30 and 25 seem to work perfect. Uh, your agility, you can start it out at 30. Or if you're doing 3D or whatever, you can run those higher. I don't use these uh, flight modes over here because they just, they just the gain is too high. Okay. Hope that helps, man. And also, after you finish uh, setting up your gyro, you want to use the save, your configuration, so you can have something to go back to if you make other changes. Go back to it. Thanks for watching.